today on Santa Monica Update. The city's offering cash to residents who are ready to upgrade to a more sustainable landscape. Coming up, we'll tell you how going green in the garden can help put a little green back in your bank account. If you're looking for a place to get away for the weekends, we'll show you our secret hot spot where you can curl up fireside for some eclectic evenings. The Green Prize Awards for Sustainable Literature are handed out at the Santa Monica Library. I'm Yana Kay and I'll tell you who won coming up. We'll have these stories and more news from the city of Santa Monica coming up. I'm Gail Choice. Santa Monica Update, your source for local news in Santa Monica. Santa Monica Update starts now. Welcome to Santa Monica Update. The city of Santa Monica is officially saying that Governor-elect Jerry Brown's plan to eliminate redevelopment agencies would have severely negative impacts. Over 300 units of affordable housing would not be built or rehabilitated. Improvements at Samo High could not be completed. Three big projects would be killed. Construction of the new Civic Center public parks would not begin, nor would construction of the planned Pico Library or the Early Childhood Development Center. These projects depend on funds from the Santa Monica Redevelopment Agency. They, along with other projects, would create more than 5,000 construction-related jobs. Andy Eigel, Director of Housing and Economic Development, says Proposition 22 made it clear that voters wanted local funds, including redevelopment agency funds, to remain in the hands of local government. In the past, disposing of household hazardous waste material like chemical cleaning products, used computer equipment, TVs, and other small appliances meant having to make a trip to a central collection point, which could be inconvenient. And in the case of some household chemicals, possibly unsafe. But now, with just a few simple steps, Santa Monica residents can utilize the city's efficient new door-to-door -door collection program. It's making safe disposal of household hazardous waste a lot easier. Reporter Ned Rolsma brings us the details on this convenient new service. We all know that many of the products and materials commonly used around the house every day are potentially hazardous and require special handling and storage. From chemical cleaners, paints and car care products, to batteries, electronics, computer equipment and small appliances. And when the time comes to send that stuff to the heap, these items definitely should not be mixed in with regular trash. Santa Monica residents used to have to lug all that litter to a centralized drop-off location. But now the city is offering a new door-to-door -door household hazardous waste collection service that's safe, convenient, and easy to use. The first step is to call the toll-free 800 number during regular business hours Monday through Friday to set up a collection appointment. This call will determine the time, date, and exact location for your hazardous Hi. waste pickup. Yes, I'd like to register for the Household Hazardous Waste Door-to-Door -door Collection Program, please. Excellent. Once your appointment is confirmed, you'll receive a collection kit by mail that comes complete with detailed disposal instructions along with plastic bags and labels to fit your particular waste needs. Step three is to scan and evaluate all the items to be collected. Check for leaky containers and make sure everything is labeled. Leaking or unlabeled containers will not be accepted. Remember, there are numerous categories of hazardous waste to consider, so carefully read all provided instructions and double check that your items are accepted in the program. Step four comes on your scheduled pickup day, when it's time to prep your waste items in the plastic bags provided in the collection kit. Place the plastic bag near your front doorstep or at the predetermined pickup location and fill the bag there. Do not place the bag on the street, curb, or alleyway, and do not fill the bag and drag it to the pickup spot. Both of these could be really dangerous to yourself and the environment. Caution is key. Once your bags are filled, make sure they're tightly sealed and properly labeled. Place larger items that don't belong in bags together with everything else at your predetermined pickup site. And that's it. It's that simple. Thanks to Santa Monica's new door-to-door -door hazardous waste collection program, getting rid of these items has never been easier. 
So what are you waiting for? Get an early jump on spring cleaning and schedule your collection today. The Household Hazardous Waste Door-to-Door -door Collection Program is absolutely free for all Santa Monica residents, homeowners, and renters, too. Simply call 1-800-HHWPKUP, that's 449-7587, or send an email to hotline at curbside.com to schedule a collection date. The Santa Monica Police Department wants us to like them. That's not just a vague wish. The department wants residents to like them on Facebook. To do that, just go to Facebook.com and enter Santa Monica Police Department in the search box. Once you're connected, just press like at the top of the page. That's it. Now, when you sign on to Facebook, you can see the latest news and info from the SMPD. It's still winter, so it's not too late to experience some acoustic, eclectic evenings. Reporter Tamara Henry takes us to Fireside at the Miles. Travel. Eclectic and unplugged, the Miles Memorial Playhouse has been a community treasure since 1929. Shirley Temple learned to tap dance here, and in 2005, a Miles program won an Emmy for outstanding achievement in producing and programming in a collaboration with City TV. And now, director Justin Yoff is at it again. Storytelling, hip hop, dance, it's gonna be amazing. Studying studio composition in college, Madeline Mandrala's dream is to play to a sold out show at the Wiltern, or maybe even to headline Coachella. And her dreams are incubating right here at the Miles. And the vibe is just so unique and so welcoming and so warm. Amy Roche knows dreams can come true. She released an album in 2007. You know, this is my hood. This is where I hang out. It's where I get coffee. I go to Groundworks. And I just, I just love being, you know, close to home. It's got a different feeling here, a different aesthetic. And between every artist, there's a break. So you can come get another cup of coffee. Beautiful venue, as you can see. It's intimate. It's uh, unplugged. There's a fireplace and it burns logs made of coffee. David Poe, originally from New York, wrote 40 songs when he came to Santa Monica. <laughs> Dudley Saunders' New York avant-garde style mixed with Appalachian jazz makes room for the unacceptable and forbidden. He takes us where we've never been emotionally in his Leonard Cohen style. Probably because my stuff is dark, kind of hallucinatory. Uh, you know, a lot of what I'm doing is not just telling stories, but also trying to recreate actual experiences of people. That's just my outlet for my emotions. It's a labor of love, and it's really a gift for these artists to give their talent to us. And if you like what you hear, make sure to come out because Fireside at the Miles runs through February 6th. Reporting for Santa Monica Update, I'm Tamara Henry. Find out what's playing this week by going to fireside.milesplayhouse, all one word, dot org. The year 2011 has gotten off to a soggy start here in Santa Monica, but don't let all that recent rainfall fool you. California is still in the midst of an extreme drought. So, while it may feel like it's been raining buckets, a closer look at the state's water woes will make our wet weather seem like a drop in the bucket. The fact is, water conservation is still as important as ever, and one of the easiest ways to make an immediate impact is in outdoor landscaping. Right now, the city is offering property owners some exciting rebates and incentives to help you green your garden or landscape. But you've got to act fast. Reporter Ned Rosma tells us how. The costs associated with maintaining a traditional landscape can be sky high. And that's because grass and other non-native plant life require tons of water and other natural resources for upkeep. Not to mention time and energy on your part. So going green in the garden just makes sense. And now, thanks to an exciting new cash rebate program, the city is making upgrade to a sustainable landscape a matter of dollars and cents. 
Santa Monica homeowners should act now because several hundred thousand dollars in rebates and incentives have been set aside for doing what should come naturally around here, designing and installing landscapes that suit our Mediterranean local climate. Take advantage of the cash for grass rebate and you'll receive up to $1,000 for getting rid of that water guzzling grass turf. That way you won't be draining our local water reserves or your bank account. Speaking of water savings, swap out those sprinklers in favor of a drip irrigation system and receive up to $500 in return. This simple fix will cut your garden's water usage by 80%, making an immediate impact on your monthly utility bill. For homeowners ready for a complete landscape makeover, the city will pitch in up to $5,000 and they'll help you find the right contractors and products to make the switch quick and easy. So what are you waiting for? Save yourself time, money, and precious natural resources by taking advantage of the city's rebates. And whether you decide to start small and replace some plant material, or go all the way with a total sustainable landscape makeover, the city has the cash for you. For Santa Monica Update, I'm Ned Rolsma. Right now, Santa Monica property owners who are ready to green their garden with climate-friendly plants and water efficiency upgrades can get some green in return, thanks to the city's exciting landscape grant and rebate program. Just visit SustainableSM.org slash rebate or call 310-458-8972. But you should act fast. Restrictions apply and not all applicants will receive funding. The winners of the Green Prize for Sustainable Literature were handed out recently at the Santa Monica Public Library. The awards honored authors whose works focus on sustainability and green living. Yana Kay has more. Acclaimed author and teacher David Orr traveled from Ohio to get the Green Prize Pioneer Award for his work in the fields of environmental education, green building, ecological design, and climate change. But he says he shouldn't get all the credit. It's a recognition of people, uh, uh, literally tens of thousands and millions of people around the world working on uh, improving uh, human lives, the human economy, uh, and longevity. The Green Prize commends authors, illustrators, and publishers who produce quality books that contribute to sustainability efforts. David Orr received the Pioneer Award for the impact he's had on his students. And they are all, every single one of them, is running an organization, working for a government, um, starting, you know, selling a new product, and they're all like huge sustainability promoters now. A total of 11 Green Prize awards were given out, including two Santa Monica authors who wrote this guide on Going Green. The Going to Green book is supported by a boxed set of 25 videos so that each of the lessons in the book is accompanied by a 20-25 minute video that a teacher can use in the classroom or somebody can use in Boy Scouts or senior centers can use or companies can use if they really want to educate their people about what are the various steps in sustainability. The book is part of a larger effort by the authors to create a green community. We want to create best practice examples that can be emulated not only in Santa Monica and California but around the rest of the country. And that's what this award is all about. For Santa Monica City TV, I'm Yana Kay. You can learn more about the Green Prize Awards at smpl.org slash greenprize.htm. Well, that's it for this edition of Santa Monica Update. I'm Gail Choice. For all of us at City TV, thanks for watching.